click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. I often get questions about hacking. How do you hack? How do you break into a system? And the interesting thing, it's not very hard. Yes, there's a lot of complexity behind the details, but if you want to break into a system, there's really just three conditions you need to focus in on. And to illustrate this, let's look at a traditional example. What if I told you that I checked into a hotel and I filled the hotel room with gold? So the entire room was filled with gold and you wanted to steal my gold. What information would you need to be able to steal my gold? Yep, you got it. First, you would need to know what hotel I'm staying in. You would need to know the address of the hotel. Second, you would need to know my room number. And third, you would need to find a way into my room. Whether it was social engineering the front desk for a key, breaking the key, manipulating the key, manipulating the cleaning folks to let you in, but those are the three things. If you were gonna physically steal somebody's gold, you need the address, you need the room, and you need a way into the room. Well, guess what? Hacking a server is the same exact way. If I want to hack your server, the first thing is there needs to be a visible IP address. So we're typically going to go in and either find out your IP address through various services such as Aaron and Who is Lookup. We're then going to go in and do a sweep of that range to see what the active IP addresses are. Once I have an active server visible from the internet, then I need to find an open door, which in computers is known as a port. So I would then go in and do our port scanning to find open ports. Once I know the open port, I would then look for vulnerabilities in that service. Now the interesting thing is, when I was teaching hacking classes 10 years ago, everybody was patching and up to date, so it was all about what we call zero day exploits. You would have to spend a lot of time crafting and finding a vulnerability or a way to break into that system. Interesting thing, you think over time we would get better? We've actually got worse. Today, less and less companies patch, so if you look at all these major breaches that have happened, occurred out there, are all because the company hasn't patched. So all I'm going to do is run known exploits, such as a tool like Metasploit, and I'm gonna find a vulnerability, exploit a vulnerability, and break in, and then I can have access to that server, any information on that server. Now I know that might sound straightforward, but if you take any of the major breaches, if you look at any of the big breaches from OPM to Equifax, essentially that's what happened. The attackers found a visible IP address, they found an open port, and they found a vulnerability because a patch wasn't applied for a significant period of time and they were able to exploit and break into the system. So if you want to go and stop or prevent your organization from getting hacked, you really do three things. Limit the number of visible IPs, close down the number of open ports, and patch, 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 patch. The less visible IPs, the less ports, and the less vulnerabilities, the harder it is for the adversary to break in. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that functionality and security are a balance. You never can have 100% security because that zeroes functionality. You're always going to have some exposure points. So the next thing is to make sure that any servers that are visible from the internet do not contain critical data. That is a key rule that must always be followed. And if you look at the major breaches like OPM, and Equifax, not only did they not patch and keep their systems up to date, but they had critical data directly accessible from internet servers, which meant once the adversary broke in and set up a pivot point, they had direct access to all of that critical data and all of that critical information. So if you want to go in and fix the biggest problems today where adversaries are going to target or break into your servers, limit the number of visible IPs, close down unneeded ports, patch, 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 and make sure that critical data is never, ever accessible from the internet. And if you do that, we can work together to make cyberspace a safe place to live, work, and raise a family.